Many teachers have found that presenting a problem to a class and allowing the students to find a solution is a great way to get every student involved and engaged, no matter what their level of ability. In addition, teachers can facilitate the problem-solving process by grouping students with complementary abilities and interests. Presenting a problem with many different solutions will offer every student in the class the chance for success. In this class at East Elementary in Kansas City, Missouri, you will see how teacher Mary Foster uses a brain teaser involving leprechauns to challenge her students' problem-solving skills. They will begin with a warm-up exercise using number cards, and even this exercise is differentiated as Mrs. Foster offers a range of math questions to her students. In both this warm-up activity and in the problem-solving lesson, Mrs. Foster provides for the different ways students learn, including kinesthetic, visual, spatial, and verbal. Now let's watch as Mrs. Foster introduces her lesson. Um, my name is Mary Foster, and I'm a third grade teacher here at East Elementary. Have been for the past five years. Uh, this is my 30th year of teaching. <laughs> So uh, today we are going to be doing an activity in math where we're going to be using digit cards to work with things such as place value, um, multiplication facts, uh, a variety of skills that we are kind of a uh, culmination of uh, math objectives that we've been working on. We're at the end of a grading period. Uh, then we will be trans uh, going into another activity that is involved in a group activity with um, a thinking type skills activity and uh, you will see some working with individual groups on some different math skills. Today boys and girls we're going to do some review and we are going to practice and get ourselves warmed up. We're doing some things with place value and we're going to do some things with addition, subtraction, multiplication. All right and be sure that when we call out and do our responses you help check with your partner. Double check each other's answers. First thing I'd like for you to do is I'd like you to pull down the numbers. Six, five, one, three. All right. Would you please make the largest four-digit number that you can? Good job. Good. Super. Good job. Check your partner. Good. ESIS. Good. All right. Good job. Leave those same numbers down. Leave those same numbers down. Six, five, one, three. Same numbers. All right. This time I want you to make a number. And I want there to be a five in the tens place. A five in the tens place. Check each other's answers. Good job. Super. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, would you read one of your numbers, D'Amico? Is she right, Mayella? Good job. All right, slide them up. Slide them up. This time, listen carefully. In the number 674, 674, pull down the number in the ones place. Pull down the number in the ones place. Partners, repeat that number to your partner. If you disagree with each other, talk about the number. All right, in the number, 674. Derricka, what number was in the ones place? Four. Excellent. Four. 
Why four? It's the last digit. We know that one's place is the last digit in the number. All right, push your numbers up if you haven't done so. Two times four. Two times four. Good. Super. Good job. Good job. Good. What's the answer to two times four, Mayella? Eight. Eight. Good. Push it up. Um, Mary went to the store. She took with her two nickels and two dimes. How much money did she take with her? Work together. I see a difference there. Figure out. You two talk about it. Work together. I see those little. Okay, partners? All right. Uh, Randy, would you tell me how you got? Well, now, which way is it? There you go. <laughs> how did you get 30 cents? Yes. I got 30 cents because I know two. Two, two nickels is ten, and um, two dimes uh, is like a third. And when, how much is a dime worth? I mean, a, a dime is worth ten cents. And you had how many of them? Two. So that gave you how much? Three. And when you put the two dimes? I mean, I mean when, you, when I put the two dimes, you got it. Keep going. You're doing great. The two dimes added to the? The nickel, nickel is um, 30, cents. 30 cents. Good job. Um, All right, uh, slide them up if you haven't done so. This is a tough one. You gotta be a good thinker and a good listener. All right, Sam has a quarter. Sarah has a quarter. Tim has a dime and a nickel. How much money do they have all together? Okay, what are you thinking? Okay. Do you two agree? Okay, count it together. Count it together. All right, what did you get, Atreon? How did you get 65 cents? Excellent. Good job. Boys and girls, I am really seeing a big improvement in the way that you are explaining how you get your answers. That's very important because that helps you to understand the process. What you're doing is to be able to explain and tell someone else how you got the answer that you got. I'm seeing a big improvement. It's a good job. Boys and girls, slide your cards up and please stack your cards together and put them back in your envelopes. Let's see how quickly we can get that done. All right, boys and girls, I put that in front of you in case you couldn't see it because we won't turn out the lights. All right, since this is St. Patrick's, the holiday, the month with the holiday of St. Patrick's Day in it, we've got a little thinking problem that we're going to do today with Lucky's Hidden Treasure. Would you read that for me, Atreon? Lucky's Hidden Treasure. Lucky's Leprechaun has been collecting gold coins for several years. He hasn't told anyone where his hope his gold is hidden, but several of the other leprechauns believe that he checks on it every day. Below is a map of the places Lucky visits each day. 
He only visits each place once a day and never goes back to a place he has already visited. The other leprechauns suspect that one of these places is where Lucky has hidden all his gold. You have been asked by the other leprechauns to follow Lucky for several days. You will need to record Lucky's move movements and find all the possible ways Lucky can, can visit all his favorite places. He may start and end anywhere he wants, but will only go to each place once. Okay, look down below at all the different places that Lucky the Leprechaun might have hidden his lucky, his gold, his gold coins. All right, and if you look on this first one, they did the first one for you. Let's look at the first one. And it shows where he started. Where did he start on the first one? Karina? All right, at the Leprechaun Village. And from the Leprechaun Village, where did he go? I'm sorry. End of the rainbow. So he went from there to here. Then where did he go? Silver Lake. Then where did Lucky go? Braxton? Then where did Lucky go, Derricka? To the forest. To the forest. I don't think so. Hmm. Is that the way it has it written down there? Where did he go after Four Leaf Clover? Go ahead. You said where? Go ahead, Derricka. Go ahead and finish that one, and we'll see, and we'll look to see what the problem is. End of the rainbow. Oh, boys and girls, if I follow that path, is that path going to take me through all the spots? No. What happened? What happened, Charles? <laughs> oh, I skipped getting through here. Can I backtrack? Because what did the direction say? He said he can only go to one place at one time. One time. Hmm. Is that going to work? No. All right, let's try again. Let's see if we're going to get lucky. End of the rainbow. End of the rainbow. Forest. I'm going to go to the forest. Four leaf clover. Field. Four leaf clover. Silver Lake. End of the rainbow. Uh, go down. Uh, go to what? I'm sorry, is my hand in the way? Leprechaun Village. Leprechaun Village. Oh, you know I know that. You only got one more place? To, and then back to the four leaf clover. Excellent. Did we cross any paths? No. Did we go to any place twice? No. No. Yeah. We did? Well, that's where, that's where we started up. We had to go to all spots. We're going to end up where you start. All right? Did we cross any path, though? Did we make it to every location? Yes. All right. You and your partner work together. I'm going to tell you right now, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. There are 12 possible paths that you and your partner can make to see if you can find Lucky's gold. Right there on the bottom of the paper, I want you to write your paths. Just write the words in order that you travel to. So you you work together. You two work together to come with 12 paths. There are 12 of them on your paper. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just write the words. That's all you have to do. So if you start at end of the rainbow, where do you think you need to go next? Okay, if you go to the forest, where are you going to go? Down to the four-leaf clover. Then the silver lake. Then where? You can't, go, you can't go to some place twice, Miguel. 
So it won't, you can't go up here and then back down. You can't go there twice. Because you gotta be able to get all the, you gotta visit all those five places. Trace it out with your fingers. See how you can get and cover all those places. Use your pencil. End of the rainbow. You don't get it, okay. Courtney, show your partner your route. You just did it for us up on the board. What'd you say? Watch. End of the rainbow. Bow. To the, to the forest. Forest. Four-leaf clover. Okay. Okay. Silver lake. Okay. End of the rainbow. Correct. Leprechaun village. Okay. Four-leaf clover. Forest. Okay, that was one route. Write it. Just write it, but forest, end of the rainbow. You can abbreviate those if you want to. LV for Leprechaun Village. Four for Four Leaf Clover. Oh, but we went back to here. Oh, yeah. Remember, we can't go back. We can only go there. We can, if we start there, we can end back there. I know, but she hasn't hit the forest or this yet. She left out that forest. You got to have that forest in there. Figure it out. Good job. Did you write that path down? Get it written down. Okay, let's see. Did you guys come up with a different one? You found a way to start from the middle. All right, let's go. And then we go end of the rainbow, and then Leprechaun Village, and then Four Leaf Clover, Forest, and back here. Then how you get back Okay, here. wait a second. Okay. No, that's, that's okay. She, okay, you started here. So we went from here to here. All right, and here to here. So they've got one path, two path, and here to here. And then here to here, and here to here. Did you cross any of them twice? No. Nope. No, you didn't. You've got a path. Good job, girls. Okay. Write it down. All right. Let's see. Um, Charles, would you come up and share one path? Would you come up and share one path? You all look to see if this is the same path you've got. You can trace it up here on mine with the, with the purple. Okay, see if this is a path that you discovered, that you and your partner discovered. Tell them where you're going. Into the rain, to the forest, to the forest Leprechaun Village, End of the Rainbow. Uh oh. What if we come to twice and we still have a spot that's missing? End of the Rainbow. Right, we did hit that end of the rainbow twice and we're at the Silver Lake. Can you figure out how you could fix that, Charles? If you'd like help, call on someone. You can call on someone. Call on someone who thinks they've got a path that they can help. Quickly. Atreon? All right. Atreon's going to show us a path. This is tricky, boys and girls, but it's very important that you stop Let and you think. Village to Four Leaf Clover. To forest. End of the rainbow. Silver Lake. Did she check all locations for the hidden gold? Yes, she did. She certainly did. Good job. Did she go to any one of them twice? No. Excellent. All right. 
One more, and then boys and girls, we're gonna run out of time today. Braxton. Silver Lake to Four Leaf Clover Field. Okay. Forest. End of Rainbow. Um, Leprechaun Village. Four Leaf and Four Leaf Clover. Did he hit all of his spots? He doesn't have to go back to the Four Leaf Clover. Did he hit all of his spots? Yes. Silver Lake. Yep. Four Leaf Clover. Forest, End of Rainbow, Leprechaun Village. Did he hit any of them twice? No. No. Good job. Good job. All right, boys and girls. No. We're not. We're not finished with this activity because we've got some more that we need to do. I want you to keep your paper because we'll have a little bit more time and we'll work a little bit more tomorrow because this was an activity that you were. Took us a little bit of time to get warmed up to, but you were doing a really good job of trying to figure out the destinations. Working together, persistence, trial and error. Thus, one of those strategies that we have to use when we're trying to solve a problem. And sometimes that persistence and working hard at it pays off. Uh, it took longer than I thought, but that's one of the hardest skills that I find with working with children in it is getting them to think. And they get frustrated easily, and they want to give up, and they want somebody to help them do it. But once they start getting the hang of it and the excitement of, oh, I'm figuring it out. But that's one of the hardest skills, I think, is teaching thinking skills and getting them to problem solve. And some of them, and I know you notice, some of them work better in pairs than others do. And that's a lot of that's due to personality. I have a, several students that are real strong, independent workers, and it's a real struggle for them. You know, they're put in situations, and they're made, you know, they work in partners, but it's it's hard for them. It's hard for them because they want to work independently. So, but they do a good job.